welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalise and I'm back with another video. So today we are going to be doing another reaction video. We are reacting to will his girlfriend cheat and scam older guys out of their money. <laughs> Y'all already know how I feel about these type of videos. Like these type of videos be funny to me, but like they're wrong. Anyways, I'm not going to talk your heads off too, too, too much. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this girl named Gloria was scamming him out of his money. He explained to me that he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera. And after he sent that... First of all, are they even... Oh, first of all, okay. You already off the jump, okay? You were sending this girl money. Loads of money, okay? Like, he's not telling us how much. So, you know it got to be a lot of money. Of course, she's using you for money in some type of way. She may not be, but hey, I, I can't speak for everybody. Money, she blocked him on everything. I feel her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby. She she was definitely using you because she blocked you. Um, Why are you trying to get confirmation when that was your confirmation? Like, why do dudes do that? When that was, that was your confirmation, why are you trying to... You know what? I'm gonna play video. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She asked, she blocked my social media accounts from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Snap, so as soon Snapchat. as you the, as soon as you sent the money, she you just lost all communication with her. Uh, everything w fell apart. Man, I told that's your sign. If everything fell apart, right? As soon as you sent that money, as soon as it cleared, and she blocked you, that was your sign that she used you, dude. The picture you like, guys, man. She was fucking hot. But I've never seen her in f***ing person, man. Yeah. So you telling me you ain't never seen this girl in person. Never before. You ain't never seen her face. And you sent her money when you have never seen her in person. Y'all never linked. Y'all never. Like, have y'all been at least on the phone? It's some f***ing bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. And god damn, man. We were on the phone. We were chatting and everything. Look at them. <laughs> they looking at him like you dumb. Like, look at the dude in the... <laughs> and as oh, as my as God. I, as soon as I finished my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. After time passing by and Ricky sitting there actually thinking about what took place, it sent him in a depression, which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend were scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out Gloria's boyfriend information and ended up reaching out. He actually- That is crazy. Like, he is mad. That man is mad. Oh my gosh. Like, girl, how much money did you take from this man for him to be doing- this type of research on you and for him to find your boyfriend. Ooh, no, no. Actually had no knowledge of this at all. So, Ricky, this is who you were talking to. This is Josh. He's behind you. What's up, bro? So, I met that bitch at the strip club, dude. Wait, 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 wait. That... Yo! So, this is the boyfriend. So, the girl that scammed him, right? This is her actual boyfriend. My thing is, okay, I understand that, you know, she scammed you or whatever, but I I mean, I won't say that if she does or does deserve or doesn't deserve to be calling her name, but the way that he just said this to be to her, to him, my bad, this, that was disrespectful. Hey, hey, hey Rick, man, hey, Rick, be respectful, look, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you speak, talk to him, right? that's his girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. He said, oh, okay, he's stupid. Um, where, where are you meeting her, bro? I met that girl at the strip club, man. She, strip club? I, mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is, but... I mean, you don't know her name and you sent her money? And I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's blocked her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages. And he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this week dude, he, he reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl, and I was like, I ain't really paying no mind, bro. Like, here, this week dude, he, he hit me up, talking about oh, my girl, spending my money, this and that, all that kind of stuff. I, I ain't even really listen to him at first. It hit my line, hit my line, hit my line. So I was like, all right, let me, let me look at this. And I just so at first, to... the dude, so the first boyfriend wasn't taking dude seriously, because. 
don't know. Sasha, PayPal, and Venmo. Man, she's a fraud, but you waste your time. How is she a fraud and you that he so called wasted hit that he so called wasted his time? But you met her at a strip club, okay? Knowing that strippers, okay, excuse my language, are usually the ones that will scam you out your money, period. Period. And you fell for the trap. That is not on him. That is on you. That is on you for not using your brain. Bro, because I am bankrupt. I am broke. You're I mean, bankrupt. All, the, all my fucking money. You could have easily found that with your bank. You could have easily found that with your bank. It's not that hard. It's not. Now, through Venmo, you can't get that back. But through... It's either Venmo or Zelle that you can't get it back. I think it's Zelle. But other, everything else, you can get your money back. I promise you, you can. Man, now she took like, all of it. She hung me dry. I'm homeless. I have no job. I have no fucking car or nothing. Fucking bitch. Stupid little park crash little fucking car. You ain't never called her. What? Yo. She... <laughs> He don't have a car, okay, for one. He's homeless and he's bankrupt, okay? All three of those sounds like what? Personal issues. That ain't got nothing to do with her. That don't got nothing. Let me hear what he got to say. I talked to her on the phone, heard her voice, none of that. You know what I'm saying? You... Never talked to her on the phone, never heard her voice. You study sending her money? Come on, bro. And you sent right her money. Not once, but, you know, several times, right? Who, who sounds stupid here? Okay, then. Bye, y'all. Straight up, man. The whole ordeal is kind of weird to me. So when he uh, brought up the strip club, y'all kind of looked at each other. Why? Why? It's more about I told you so, that is, but it's not my place to say that. But like I said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks, shaking ass, or uh, you recruiting. Somebody, some got to be explained. The money coming right. randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No mm -hmm. answers. Mm -hmm. Answers. Right. Very true, very true. I mean, that's that's what it is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, so he, okay, so you, this is, yeah! Yeah. So, she's just doing her job. That's what it sounds like. She is just doing her job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she, she was, was doing her job. Out there. I, went, I went out there with some of my homeboys, and we were out there having a good time, and she was one coming to our table and shit, and I got a number from them. We started talking, and we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all the information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like, yeah, she, 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 pop, she popping over with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes, hmm. always asking me for this and that. Like, it, it's really starting to make sense now. Oh, wow. Like I said, bro, I'm in the strip club, bro. She a bodyguard out there. Me and my homeboy. But my thing is... Y'all dudes get they self put into these type of situations when wanting to mess with strippers. You knew what that girl was before you even started talking to her. You knew what she was doing. You knew her place of work. You, uh, she was giving us our you knew all of this already. Really been going strong for like two years, bro. Like, really been trying to take. So you can't be mad. Everyone for everything, bro. Damn, bro. Maybe I should just shit. So today we had our decoy, Gabriel, actually reach out to her through the Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. Oh. She don't know that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay, okay so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So mm. let's go ahead and go upstairs, get everything situated and Hopefully you get your answer, bro. Ricky believes that Gloria preys on older men to use them for their money, so I took the liberty of oh, hiring duh. Gabriel as our decoy. Mm -hmm. And the plan was for us to rent out this beautiful Airbnb, pretending that Gabriel stays here, using this house as a way to showcase Gabriel's wealth. Gabriel actually been talking to Gloria for about a week now, and they decided to go ahead and meet up for dinner. What Gloria don't know is that his house is literally right across the street from where they'll be eating. This was all planned out perfectly, so when Gabriel mentioned he stayed literally across the street, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her to just walk across so Josh, my thing is if she does decide to go into that man's house y'all already know what her intentions are period like glow's on her way here period. um game was about to make his way period. to the restaurant so he can meet her there is there anything you don't want him to do while he's conducting the test 
I mean, I really, this is all kind of a shot to me. I really just kind of want to see where her headspace at, and really, he can kind of do whatever I want to see what she's up to. Okay. That's, that's really it. All right. So, we're going to get you down there. Um, you already mocked up, so basically, everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jack about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get as much money as I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, he don't man, look he... homeless. Are them goals in his mouth? Or am I tweaking? Are them goals? What you saying to her? Man, I got a check every month. I give her the whole check. How much is the check? I don't want to share the information. That's, that's, really that's, that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. All right, so Jaja, we can just go ahead and. Yo, don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You mad, y'all. He gave her his entire check. Not, you know, a little bit. Not $100, but the entire check. He is dumb. That is that is his fault. Like, there's no coming back from that. Uh, go down to the command center. We can watch everything going on. We try to set up a command center for today's test, but because of the area, we were only limited to listening through the mics. Cameras were set up in the house just in case Gabriel was able to get her to come over. And this loyalty test is officially about to begin. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, she's going to the restaurant. Hey. Yeah, it. yeah, so we all about me, you know, watching the dinner. She pulled up, showing up with her, bro. Like, damn, like, she got some questions to answer, bro. She, she hugging all on this dude. Tell me about Dubai. I want to hear about it. I ain't never been. You went by yourself? This was my first solo trip, and I think it was more so like, it was like a getaway. My first business had did really well. I had a hair company. And it did really well. And then at that same time, it was getting hard for me to manage everything by myself. Just with I can't really hear her, y'all. Marketing, just everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had went through like a bad breakup, a bad friendship. So like, I it was like literally like a getaway. Like I needed to get away for a mental, just everything recharge. And I went and I don't know, I wasn't scared. Like I'm not scared. I've been on my, I just did my third, um, Solo trip, actually. I did a tri trip, but go ahead to Dubai. Mm. Um, when I went, yeah. I did research on it. I did um, hire a driver and I did like a little tour my first day so I could kind of get a feel of where yeah. everything was, just the idea. Yeah. I did the desert safari. I went and did the. Oh, you did the whole. I did the you whole. Did the whole okay, she is down. Okay. She is down. Everything. So, you did all that to traveling. I did all of course, if she gets down like that. And she's a stripper, and she, you know, this man is reaching out to you. Of course, she using older men for money. Of course. Wow, yeah. that's brave. I, I, of I admire. Of course, that. she awesome. is. Then my third was just a tri city. I went to Albuquerque, New Mexico, for one day. I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. That's what's yeah. up. I flew to Washington D.C. because I had never been to Washington. I flew there. Wow, you've been all over the place. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, they need to speed this process up though. All this is good, they need know, to speed it up. Fitting because I do like nice things and I do like, you know, I'm not just like that. But yeah. I like yeah. nice things. I mean, you know, I am single and it's crazy. Oh, she just said she was single. That tells you everything now. She said she was single when whole time. Dang, she using. Dang, she using all of y'all. Dang, that's crazy. Single, uh, single, single, or I'm, 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 I'm single, single. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm single. Okay, you started with that. I'm single as fuck. Single <laughs> yeah, I'm single yeah, as fuck. I'm single. I ain't yeah. seeing nobody. Uh, You're not seeing anybody. What you want to do? I got some, some, some ideas of what we could do. Down for. Down. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you want oh, to really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You want to wanna go I check would. it out with me? I would. Right, she looking at she looking this man up and down though. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shit. Did they yeah. even get food? I don't think they got any food. You don't live far, so maybe we can hang out yeah, at some point. Yeah. 
Yeah. Glo agreed to come over to our decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We were right. gonna let this test go on, but since we are all the Or way was this man just the so called like or did she just let this man think that she would that he was her boyfriend? Hey. Like, the fourth floor of the townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on. And we same. also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. Dude, there's another level up there. Uh -huh. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what, though? We can take the elevator. Uh, yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. It's coming in the last video chopper. What we doing? Mic signals from every camera are all bad. Maybe there's a satellite in the area. That can't even get no good. If we can go in now, they we can't can because you can already show us that. type of good angles. Yeah. Oh, he got the hand on the waist. Y'all, and she's letting this happen. Of course. Been here. Of course. About a year. I like it. I like it so far. So. Oh, yeah. oh I've Give never the, been in a house. Give you the grand tour. Okay. Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, where is it? This is so wild. This is, I love this. This is beautiful. Like, yeah. This is really nice. He mad. Yeah, I like it here. It's real quiet. I see that. You should come be here with me. You know? Look at him. She rubbing all this on him. Nice. This test is already over with. She already on TV. It seems like it <laughs> she cheated in the first look. This is all you. This is, Yo. It looks like something you should be in. Oh really? Yeah. She over here squeezing on this man. Yeah. She is over here squeezing on this man, on rubbing all on this man, sweet talking this man. Yo. Of course. Mm -hmm. She of course. already failed. I'm being it with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. This shit is crazy, bro. I feel bad for dude who got all his money, took his whole check. He said he was homeless, this and that. Mm -hmm. Women out here, man. But y'all can't. But y'all can't feel sorry for him because y'all already knew her. Y'all intentions with this because she's a stripper. Y'all both met her at a strip club. Like, that is y'all fault. It's crazy. According to Josh, he seen enough yeah, she to actually wrote. go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of this loyalty test, and she completely failed, denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. No, bro. I haven't seen enough, bro. Like, she, she already took the thing. My thing is, yes, yeah, she wrong at the end of the day, but my thing is, y'all could have easily avoided this. You met her at a strip club. I'm going to keep saying it. You could have easily avoided that. Check this shit, bro. As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him and using him for his money. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way you roll. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at how she look at that watch, though. She's definitely. Look, y'all. Y'all! Why is he still calling this girl? I, I mean, y'all heard how he came behind these steps, though. Fucking hands on you, bitch. Wait till I put my hands on you. What is wrong with you? Hey, bro. You lying to the bitch. You better go, man. You better go, man. You better go, man. Didn't we just tell you in the beginning to be respectful? Ain't nobody. But I understand you mad though. I understand you mad, but my thing is, like you, it that's unnecessary. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, bitch, you bitch. You ain't no skin. You are yeah. fat ass. Yeah, you feel you dumb, are fat ass little. You feel dumb, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You make me homeless. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? I knew it. I, bro, you was right, bro. Bro, when we came down the stairs, <laughs> that boy Ricky, I ain't gonna lie, bro, was saying everything in the book. He was just blurting out everything. But dude, who good girl it was, he wasn't even really defending, no one even saying nothing to the nigga. Like, hey, you calling my girl this, calling her that. Hey, right. you, I ain't gonna lie, she took your money, but hold that down, bro. You got some answers for me? Huh? You don't know? Oh, now, now all of a sudden you don't know. I don't even know who that is. So, Ricky basically reached out to me saying that he was messing with you through text messages. He never seen you in real life, and he sent you a lot of money, and you ended up ghosting him on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know you. I don't know you. I'm gonna find you. I found I, I you. So, what if 
He ne- what? Feel dumb now. Yeah. What would you catch me doing though? Hmm? What am I doing? What do you mean? What, what you are you doing? doing? Did she just say what am I? Uh, he was just on a hard day. A uh, hard day. You got sending your money. What you mean, bro? Why? Why, why are we doing this? What? I love this question. Let me show you. Okay, so first you're gonna find the Stitch Fix Styling Quiz to send you people. Why, why don't you answer that for me? Uh, did, did you not accept? She said, doing what? What am I doing? Doing what? What's wrong? Like, girl. I have any money from him? I don't know. At all. I don't know. No, you don't. Shut the f up. You shut the f up. Nice. You shut the f up. Like, you call lying. Lying how? How? You're a liar. Shut the f up. Where's the I've seen the screenshots. You're a lot of screenshots. The screenshots of everything that y'all talked about, all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready to leave. She okay, so she do know you do. You go to the cemetery. You money, bro. You go to a short trail, you go to a wife that's long there, breastfed you, look or nothing. Oh, wow, he's still going. You fed or nothing. Suck my dick, you fucking bitch. Bye. Yeah, bye, bitch, bye. Bye. Bye, bitch. Watch your mouth, dude. See you later, bitch alligator. <laughs> you got the guts and the nerves to come up to the right back again. Wait, how you feel with that? Bro, I, I just upset, it, bro. Like, that stupid bitch. She come back years, up bro. again. Like, that's some bullshit. Bro. I'm gonna push her like, down. I, I, years, when I'm sitting here trying to work my ass out, bro, I work two jobs, bro. Like, two jobs. I'm guys. bankrupt, dude. I be spoiling this girl, bro. Like, giving her everything she wants. And she gonna sit here and still entertain other niggas on the side, bro? Like, it, Cause oh, you it's probably up, bro. And shit. I really, I feel stupid. Cause I oh had, I had people sitting here telling me this and that about her, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. She, she made me out of like, a jackass, bro. man. Like, clearly she has a, man no, clearly y'all already knew what her snitches were. You see how she finds her lifestyle through y'all dumb dudes. Because clearly, y'all don't use y'all brain. Y'all just think, you know, this is a cute face. She gonna be, no, no, no. That pretty smile. That is going to get y'all messed up. Like. Oh, yeah. Gee. Y'all better stop. Where's that bitch? Go on, little up, trail for a tribe, bitch. Shit, I guess just go ahead, bro. You, I don't. No, I got beef with her. I got beef with her. It looks over. Shit. <sighs> My thing is, what did y'all get in return out of this? Like, what did y'all get out of this? Like, you didn't get your money back, homeless dude. Uh, let me just play this and then I'm gonna speak my mind. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. This test was crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, jack off. What? Oh, um, okay, y'all. So, okay. My thing is, what was the whole point of doing this when the homeless dude, so-called, still haven't got his money back from girl, okay? The dude, the boyfriend, still ain't get this money back from, you know, spoiling her and spending all this money on her. He still ain't, gone, he still ain't got his money back. The girl, she could care less. She could care less. My thing is, like I said several times in the video before, Y'all are the ones that got y'all self into this mess. Period. Period. You can't be mad at her. But my thing is, yes, she is wrong. At the end of the day, she is wrong. Yes, her karma will come back to her in the end. But you can't, there's nothing you can really do but, fi but file bankruptcy with your bank or what's to call it? Or try to get your money back through your bank. Just tell them what happened. Tell them that you got scammed, and they will send you your money back. Like, that's all you got to do. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to talk to y'all in my next video.